In this video, I want to show you what the composite quadrature rules look like. We're going to take our elementary integration formulas, particularly the trapezoidal rule and Simpson's rule, and use them to construct general formulas for integrating a function from A to B. The elementary formulas were, were just from integrals from 0 to H. So the integral we want to do then is the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Um, we basically are splitting up our interval then. So this is our x interval. We're going to break it up into pieces. This will be uh, what we call a, and this is b. And then these will be uh, pieces in x. So we're going to define that as uh, a is going to be what we call x naught, and then the next piece in the interval will be x1 and then x2, and then we keep going until we get to xn, which is the last piece here, and xn then will be b, okay? Um, so we break up this interval into small pieces, so we have the integral from a to b of f of x dx then becomes the sum from i equals 0 to n minus 1 of the integral from xi to xi plus 1 of f of x dx. Okay? So then each of these little integrals is going to be an elementary uh, integral. We can see that by changing variables. So we can uh, let um, uh, let the new variable s equals x minus xi. So dx is equal to ds. And then we get the integral from a to b of f of x dx becomes the sum from i equals 0 to n minus 1. And then uh, this becomes an integral from 0 to uh, xi plus 1 minus xi. So it's useful to define um, hi equals xi plus 1 minus xi. And at the same time, we can define fi equals f of xi. Okay? So the upper integral here is xi plus 1 minus xi. So that will be hi. And then we're integrating uh, f of x. x now is uh, xi plus s and we're integrating ds, okay? So each of these uh, integrals in the sum now is an elementary integral, an integral from 0 to h of some function. So we can use our elementary integration formulas. So if we did the uh, trapezoidal rule here, which is uh, very commonly used, so the trapezoidal rule we would have the integral from a to b of f of x dx is the sum from i equals 0 to n minus 1. So remember, it's h, 1 half hi times um, f at the two endpoints. So we would have here um, h over 2 or hi over 2. And then we would have f evaluated at s equals 0 would be fi plus f evaluated at s equals hi would be f of i plus 1. Okay? That's the composite rule, uh, composite quadrature rule using the trapezoidal rule. It actually turns out to be very useful. Um, if you have experimental data 
and you need to integrate your experimental data, the uh, intervals may not be uniformly spaced, and then you can apply this uh, composite trapezoidal rule to approximate the integral of the experimental data. If you, on the other hand, you can compute the function at any points, then you would want to use equally spaced points. So let's look at the trapezoidal rule and Simpson's rule for equally spaced points. Um, equally spaced points. In that case, um, HI is, is equal to h, which would be a constant. Okay, so you would, uh, depending on how many points you choose, the more points you choose, the smaller would be the value of h. Okay, so what would we get for the trapezoidal rule here? Um, so h is a constant, so we would have these terms, if you look at the, say, i equals 0 term, we have an f0 and an f1. And then at the i equals 1 term, we have an f1 again and an f2. At the i equals 2 terms, we have an f2 again and an f3. So the, the middle terms keep getting uh, repeated. So if we wrote the uh, trapezoidal rule, we would have the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Um, we would end up with h over 2. And then the leading term, the f0, would be by itself. But then the middle points would get repeated, so we would have twice them. So 2f1 plus 2f2 plus, plus 2fn minus 1. And then the endpoint on the other side would be by itself, so plus Fn. Okay? Uh, the classic form for the trapezoidal rule. So it says that the first point and the last point are by themselves, multiplied by 1, and then all the middle points are multiplied by 2. We multiply the whole thing by h over 2. Okay. If you remember the elementary uh, integration formula for the trapezoidal rule had an error big O of h cubed, usually you write the error here, but uh, it wouldn't be h cubed anymore because we're adding up n of those errors. So instead of being h cubed, the error is larger by a factor of h and goes as big O of h squared. So typically, people would say the trapezoidal rule has error big O of h squared. And then they're referring to the composite uh, trapezoidal rule. Okay, another nice rule is, would be Simpson's rule. So how would that work? So we would have integral a to b f of x dx. So we would have here, going back to the elementary formula, uh, we would have to apply the elementary formula here over each um, 2h interval. So we would have, say, an h over 3, and then we would have an f0 plus 4f1 plus uh, f2. And then we would have another h over 3, and we would have an f 2 plus 4f3 plus f4. And we would keep on going here, right? So what would that look like? Well, we would have an h over 3. The first term, f0, would be by itself. And then the next term would have a 4, 4f1. Four and then the f2 adds, so we would have a 2f2, and then a 4f3, and then a 2f4, and so on, until we got all the way to the end. At the end, we would have an fn by itself, 
and the one before it then should have a four. So the last term here should be, uh, well, we can write a bunch of them, two of f of n minus two plus four of f of n minus one plus the very last term, f sub n, okay? Um, I used to use this integration formula a lot when I was a graduate student. Uh, if I tell you the year, you'll know how old I am, which is old, back in the 1980s, before MATLAB. I would code up my integrals using this, uh, this uh, composite Simpson's rule. So you have the first and the last have a one in front, and then you alternate between four and two. So the odd ones have a four, the even ones have a two, and you always have to end up with a four. So f sub n minus one, n minus one index has to be odd. And you have to have the right number of points for this to all match up. Uh, it's a uh, nice formula. It has a good error, right? So the error here is big O. Simpson's rule was h to the fifth. So this one, the composite rule, would have an error of h to the fourth. Okay? So it's actually a, a very accurate rule. Uh, MATLAB has its own... Uh, integral uh, solver um, when you have uh, ability to evaluate f at any points, and you would use that, so you wouldn't really use this Simpson's rule anymore. But it's uh, historically a very nice formula. So let me summarize. We're talking about composite quadrature rules. We're using our elementary uh, integration formulas to uh, now integrate a function from a to b, f of x dx. I derived the trapezoidal rule, which actually is still useful when you have experimental data, uh, very common to want to integrate that data, and you can use the uh, composite trapezoidal rule to do that. On the other hand, if f is computable, then you can use equally spaced points, and there's a famous formula for the trapezoidal rule and another famous formula for Simpson's rule. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.